Today we will tell you about our most recent research paper. But before we do so, let's uh, play a game. Consider the following situation. You are in an experiment and together with another person you have been given 1000 Norwegian krona. That is approximately 160 US dollars. And you have been chosen to decide how to share the money between yourself and this other person. Most importantly, you don't know this other person and you will never learn who this person is. Further, no one will learn exactly what you did in the experiment, not even the people organizing it. And finally, this is real money. So whatever you decide will happen. What would you do in such a situation? Find a piece of paper and write down the share of money that you would give to the other person. So here is a question for you. Do you think you would give away more than a criminal would in this type of situation? I guess many of you would answer yes to this question. After all, criminals have by definition done something bad. And it seems plausible that they care less about others than most non-criminals. But is this really the case? Are criminals bad guys who, given the opportunity, would take everything for themselves? This is the question we wanted to study in this research project. And to do so, we took the experiment just presented to a prison. And in the prison, we had prisoners play against other prisoners. And the prisoners were surprisingly willing to share. On average, they gave away 40% of the money to the other participant. That is 400 kroners. So comparing this to the amount you wrote down on your sheet of paper, are you more moral than a criminal? It turns out that most people are not. We also conducted this experiment with a benchmark group from the general population, and they gave away more or less exactly the same as the prisoners. Some of you may argue that there is an in-group effect in prison, where prisoners are particularly nice to other prisoners. We agree that this is a possibility, and therefore we did another experiment where the prisoners played with participants outside the prison. Did this change the results? Not at all. But there is another potential problem with the experiment. The fact that we did this in prison may have caused the prisoners to behave more nicely than they would otherwise do. So we did yet another experiment where we via the internet played the game with a sample from the general population, a large sample, including people with a criminal record. And again, we observed the exact same pattern. The criminals were as generous as the non-criminals. So to summarize, our three experiments show that criminals are just as morally motivated as non-criminals. They share as much as others if they're put in the same type of situation. We believe this result provides an important corrective to the public debate on crime prevention, the penal system, and importantly, on the reintegration of criminals into society. So the next time you discuss these issues, keep in mind that criminals are not generally bad guys who lack moral motivation.